Hey, what's up everyone? Matt Wolf here. Today I want to walk through a new thing that Thrivecart just launched. And this is actually my first time walking through it. Actually, that's kind of a lie. I've I've kind of taken a sneak peek, but I haven't actually clicked through all the buttons and messed with all the widgets and seen what everything can do yet. So this is really my first time digging in and, and really seeing what this new platform is all about. So Thrivecart just released something game-changing. They released something called Thrivecart Learn. And what Thrivecart Learn is, is a membership platform inside of Thrivecart, right? So if you think of uh, platforms like Teachable or Thinkific or these various membership platforms that are available right now, that is what this is inside of Thrivecart Learn. And here's the really, really cool thing. If you own Thrivecart already, you just get Thrivecart Learn for free with your Thrivecart account. If you don't own Thrivecart already, by simply buying Thrivecart, you also get lifetime access to Thrivecart Learn. So no monthly payments like Teachable or Thinkific or all those other things. So really, really cool. Now, full disclosure, there is a little bit of an upgrade. You can get Thrivecart Learn, which just comes with Thrivecart and it'll allow you to build a membership and you could probably do most of the stuff you wanna do with a membership platform with that. But then there's also what they call Thrivecart Learn Plus. And Thrivecart Learn Plus, I believe is about a $200 upgrade above Thrivecart Learn. And it gives you a bunch of extra functionality that in my opinion, you're going to want if you're gonna get really, really like ninja with your members area. Really, really cool stuff you could do with Thrivecart Learn Plus. Now, again, full disclosure, my account, what we're gonna be looking at today is actually Thrivecart Learn Plus. So some of the features I'm gonna show you are only available in Plus. And uh, as I see them, I'll try to point out which ones are only in Plus and which ones aren't. Uh, to be honest, since I only have Plus, I'm not 100% sure which ones are only Plus and which ones aren't, but I have a fairly good idea. So I'll point them out when I come across them. All right, so let's go ahead and dig into what is Thrivecart Learn and what it looks like and what you can expect the first time you log in. So here I am in my just standard Thrivecart dashboard right now, and you can see up in the top right corner, there's a new button. It says new right above it, and it says learn below it. If I click into this, you can see the new Thrivecart Learn section. So up in the top right, we have new project. The projects are kind of a way to just organize your members areas. So it's, you know, just think of them as like folders for organization's sake. A lot of the end users that are in your members area, um, the, the way you organize your projects is probably not going to affect them very much. There might be features in the future where it affects them, but as of right now, it's kind of like a folder system to keep your courses and membership areas organized. So if I create a new project here, we'll call this um, example project. And now we have a project that I can build courses inside of this project. And again, this is just organizational folders. So let's say I sell bonuses for Thrivecart and I sell bonuses for a tool called Designer and I sell bonuses for a tool called ConvertBox or you know, we give these bonuses away if you buy through our affiliate link on those products, but we also do sell them as well. Well, all of those bonus products could live inside of their own project and I can just kind of organize bonuses by themselves. And then my courses that I also sell could also be their own separate project. Okay, so just kind of think of the projects as folders like that, just for organization. Then you can uh, create a new course. So let's just call this um, my Thrivecart course. I teach Thrivecart, author Matt Wolf. And then I can add a, a course logo. Let me see if I've got something to use real quick here. Okay, so I found this Thrivecart Mastery image from our actual Thrivecart Mastery bonus package that we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. We'll go ahead and use that as an image here and we'll click create my course. All right, so now I have a course. Now I'm in the course building section here and I can add modules. Modules are like, you know, sections of your course and then you add lessons. Lessons are where like, you know, the video or written content's gonna be. So you wanna start by uh, you know creating a module here. So let's just call it module one, um, the basics, right? And then we can create a new module here, or I guess we'll drag another module over. Let's see, right there. We'll call this one module two, intermediate. And then let's add another module down at the bottom here and call it module three advanced. All right, so now we've got a three modules, basics, intermediate, and advanced. And now we would add lessons inside of each module. So you know, you have lesson one, lesson one, setting up 
Thrive Cart. Add a lesson, lesson two. Creating my first product, right? And then you would just kind of go down the line creating all of your courses. Now you can decide, do I want my course to be delivered instantly as soon as somebody gets access or do we want it dripped? And there's options for dripped too. So you can drip it through a time period. So drip out a new module every day or one new module every week or one new module every month or one new module every year. Or you can do it by lesson, drip out one new lesson every day. Uh, you can do it by day of the month. So drip out a module on the first day of the month and then, uh, or drip out a new lesson on the sixth day of every month. So you can drip them out new modules every single month. This is valuable as if you have a monthly members area and every month you want them to get a new hour long lesson or something like that, it will drip it out on the same day every month as they go through uh, the course. Specific calendar dates, so you can drip out modules or lessons on specific days or after a trial rebuild. So let's say they have a 30-day trial and then you want to provide them with additional content once the 30-day trial is up, you can do that through this or you can, you know, every time a new rebuild happens, just drop new content on them. So very, very cool options for how you drip this out. There's these advanced sequences down here, which this is kind of getting really ninja. And I know this is only in Learn Plus as well, uh, these sort of course rules. So we can create a rule. So choose when this rule triggers, when somebody uses a coupon, if they buy through a certain affiliate, buys within a certain date range, if they're a repeat customer, if they live in a certain country, or if they complete a specific module, I can then give them additional access to additional courses. So let's say um, I have a deal with, uh, a creator of another product and they want to give bonuses to people who buy my product. So they give me content. I put it in my members area. And if they buy through their affiliate link, they get access to that content, but only people who buy through that affiliate link get access to that content in the members area. Or let's say I do a promotion where I say, if you use the coupon code hustle, we'll also throw in X, Y, and Z bonus. Well, you have to use the coupon code hustle to get that. And this will actually apply additional content. So let's say they use this TNC 2021 special promo. Um, let's say that's, that's the coupon code that they use. Now, once they get that, use that coupon code, I could give them access to another course I created. Now I only have this one course in here, but if I had another course created, I can then say, because they use this coupon, give them access to this course also. So it gives you ways to create uh, additional scarcity. Hey, buy using this coupon in the next 10 days and we'll throw in this bonus. And it all happens in the background. It's all automated by using that coupon. They'll just get that course added. So that's a really, really amazing feature. And there's also, you know, so many other things you can do. You can apply tags. You can give them an award. You can unlock all content. Um, you can remove them from a different course. Let's say they take a, a 101 course. It's a prerequisite to an advanced course and you want to take the 101 course away. You could do things like that. So, or, or maybe they want to downgrade, right? So maybe you have a large course with, um, with, with tons of different training in it and they want to downgrade to a cheaper course. Well, when they downgrade to that cheaper course, you can actually remove them from content as well. So really, really, really amazing stuff that you can do with, uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this, uh, that you can do with these advanced secret sequences here. So go ahead and cancel that. Then up under course options, we've got some additional uh, settings that we can set up here as well. So um, you can set up a custom domain for your course. Um, so if I wanted to be at, you know, courses.hustleandflowchart.com, I can set it up on a custom domain. Um, if a subscription payment to access the course fails, you could pause dripping out the new content or disable access until the payment is made. So if they fail on a payment, just say, don't give them access anymore. And then when the next payment goes through, it re-gives them access again. Um, advertise this course to students when they log in. So you can actually check this button. They'll see when they log into their members area, they'll see the courses that they haven't bought yet. And if they click on the course itself that they don't have access to, you could tell them to drive it to a sales page. So you can kind of get that FOMO marketing going on where people see, oh, they've got that course as well. I really want that course. And then they click on it thinking maybe they have access, but when they click on it, it takes them to the sales page where they can buy. So you can really kind of capitalize on that, that fear of missing out there. And then you've got your behavior rules down here too, which are a little more designed for your autoresponder side of things. So when a student accesses this course, in active campaign, add them to a list. Um, when they access this course, add them to uh, an existing tag that's in, in active campaign. You can choose your tag. Um, 
you know, if uh, a new module becomes available to this student, add a tag, which will fire off an email about the new module, a new lesson is available, same idea. If a student completes a module, you can have it send a tag to Active Campaign, which would trigger an email saying, congratulations on your course completion. Um, same with lessons, all sorts of cool behavioral rules here. And then what it can do is add them to Active Campaign or, you know, Drip or Google Sheets or whatever your autoresponder is or whatever integration you want with, uh, uh, with, Thrivecart. It's almost like there's like a mini version of Zapier built into Thrivecart Learn. So really, really cool stuff. I believe the behavior rules is also um, a, a plus upgrade, but I'm not 100% on that one. Not 100% if that's a, a, a one of the plus upgrades or not. Uh, oops, I want to go back to course content. And let's take a look at what it looks like to actually build a lesson, because this is really cool. It's just a drag and drop page builder. So this is what our lesson page looks like here. Uh, so we would start by maybe adding a heading. We know this one's called lesson one, uh, setting up Thrivecart. So let's just put that in the heading, lesson one, setting up Thrivecart. So there's our heading there. And then let's say this is a video module. So we'll put our video module here. You do have to embed from you know YouTube or Vimeo or Wistia or Easy Video Suite or whatever video player you host with, you're going to need to embed. Thrivecart's a one-time fee, it's not a monthly membership, so they don't actually cover hosting for videos. Um, that's one area where you know maybe Teachable or Thinkific has a leg up is you know for that hundred bucks a month you're going to pay one of those sites you also get to host your videos but you can also just host them on YouTube and unlist them or host them on Vimeo for you know a hundred bucks a year um, so Thrivecart's a one time fee Vimeo's like a hundred bucks a year or so to host all of your videos you're still way better off than if you were using one of these other membership platforms you have different styles of how you can lay out the video put it on the left with text on the right. Uh, you know, the flip of that up above with some text below it, two videos side by side, three videos side by side. So really cool uh, functionality here. I like to go full size with the video just so it takes up that full width there. Um, let's pretend I embedded a video code here and click done. And then let's say below it, I want to add, um, you know, let's add a content box for resources, right? Let's, uh, I'll go ahead and leave it as it is here. Maybe make a little, um, maybe make it a slightly grayer backdrop just so it stands out a little bit like that. And then, cool, I'm gonna click done. And then inside of here, I am going to add its own heading. So let's just put resources and let's maybe bring this font down so it's not the same size as the header above it. And then let's see, done with this section. And then let's go ahead and put some, you know, links below here. So I'm gonna go do a bullet. So I'll do link number one, link number two. These are the resources that I mentioned in my video. And then each of these links I can go and, you know, actually turn into a hyperlink right here. We mentioned google.com. And there we go. We got a basic lesson page with a heading, a video, any of the resources we mentioned. In the future, you'll be able to add quizzes. You can put buttons. You could break this up into columns. You can add your own HTML. You could add an FAQ section, dividers, bullets, videos, images, text, heading. I mean, you can build the membership to look however you want inside of the members area. Let's go ahead and just publish this so we have one published lesson. And this is the course building area. You know, it's very, very intuitive. You kind of get in and you just know how to use it. Again, this is really the first time I'm actually clicking through all the buttons and everything just kind of makes sense the first time through. So now if I go ahead and click next here, you got course options, let's save and exit. Now it brings us back to this page and you can see my new course. There's uh, one module, one lesson, zero students. You got your quick link here that you can give access to this link for people to log into and then Here's something that's really cool too. You can create bundles as well. So let's say you have multiple uh, courses inside of your members area. You can lump together multiple courses and give people access to a bunch of different stuff. So you can go and sell a package deal of this course, this course, and this course. And when they buy it, the bundling will just allow you to sell all those courses together. So let's just go ahead and pretend we've got more than one course in here. I'll just call this bundle one for now. Create my bundle. And it says your new bundle, bundle one has been created successfully to sell your bundle. You can select either an individual course or your new bundle from inside your products fulfillment center. So you would build your checkout for Thrivecart and select this bundle at sales. 
my students. This is where you would manage all of the students you have. You can see, um, you can import students if you are on the plus plan. Um, I don't believe you can import students on the basic plan, but you can import them on a CSV. So if you're already using like a Teachable, you can export all of your customers from Teachable. Once you build your members out, ship out in Thrivecart, import them all over into Thrivecart Plus, uh, Learn Plus, and you'll be good to go. They'll all have access. You could filter down. I don't have any students in here, so it's hard to give it a uh, demonstration. And then you have my team. You can actually add other owners here. This is definitely a plus feature. Um, only plus members can add additional users. If you're just on the, the Thrivecart Learn free plan that comes with Thrivecart, you can't add additional users. So that's another benefit of plus. Once there are actual uh, students in here, that are using this. I believe it gives you some extra features and, and stuff that you can do, but I don't have any uh, people in here yet. So that'll be a future video of the types of stuff that you can do with the students. All right, so that's pretty much a quick walkthrough of Thrivecart Learn. Now, how would I actually sell people into a membership for Thrivecart Learn? Let's go to products and uh, create a new product and it'll be a digital product. And let's just call this testing learn. So. We'll call this testing learn one. Let's make this live mode. I will make the owner my name, click next. Uh, let's just, you know, this is an example. So also this is a $10 price point and save it like that. I'm just gonna kind of quickly click through everything. Not gonna add bumps. Uh, obviously need to set up a payment processor. We use Stripe, PayPal, Apple Pay, Google Pay. We'll save that. Click next, not gonna do affiliates because we're just showing an example. All right, so fulfillment, gotta put our support email in here. What should dis uh, display the invoice? Send them to a URL, <laughs> add them to a membership site. So if I select add them to a membership site, select your membership platform, Thrivecart Learn is now an option. Select Thrivecart course to apply for purchase, my Thrivecart course or the test course. Uh, you can apply additional tags which are not necessarily tags in your autoresponder, they're just tags for your backend members area. So we'll apply the tag my Thrivecart course, and that'll be a tag. Um, send students to a custom success page before accessing their course, that's optional. Let's just log them in. And that's really all you do to make them buy into your course. You just finish building out your checkout the way you normally would, and when somebody purchases, they will just get added into your course inside of Thrivecart. Really, really cool stuff. Now, there's one more thing that Josh added in that is really amazing that I've not seen or heard anybody else talking about. And it's the ability that if you're an affiliate of somebody who's promoting a product on Thrivecart, you can also leverage Thrivecart Learn. So now if I log into my affiliate dashboard here inside of Thrivecart where I promote other products and let's go into a product, let's say I'm promoting Thrivecart. Uh, let's say I'm promoting this landing page of Thrivecart, I can actually come over here to bonus delivery. Check this out. Automatically deliver your bonuses to a customer you refer as an affiliate. So if somebody buys through my affiliate link for Thrivecart, I can give them access to a bonus right through Thrivecart. Well, they've add, added Thrivecart Learn uh, integration in here. Do you want to do, deliver a course from Thrivecart Learn as a bonus? Yes, deliver a course. Choose your course to deliver as a free bonus, my Thrivecart course. And then you can enter tags. So uh, bot through affiliate link or whatever. I'm not gonna add tags right now. But this is really, really cool. You can now go and promote a product that is on the Thrivecart platform and then use Thrivecart Learn to deliver the bonuses for the product that somebody bought. Like to me, that's game changing as an affiliate marketer because the products that I'm promoting, where they get access to the bonuses, how they get access to the bonuses, it's all now a seamless experience. They would buy Thrivecart, they would get the email from Thrivecart about where to log in, they would get an email from me about here's where you get your bonuses that Thrivecart also sent, and then they would also log into Thrivecart to access that course. So you create this really cool closed loop system. So really, really excited about this platform. I know Josh is developing a lot more on it as well. This is just kind of the very, very beginning of it. There's big, big things coming in Thrivecart Learn. We're probably going to move a lot of our membership content over into Thrivecart Learn, especially a lot of our product bonuses and, and uh, smaller courses and things like that. Those will definitely live in Thrivecart Learn. So really excited about this. If you don't have Thrivecart already, what are you waiting for? You now get a checkout platform for a one-time price with a membership platform built in for that same one-time price. So getthrivecart.com is where you can learn more about it. 
go check out Thrivecart. It is a killer plot product, and they just keep making it better and better. I mean, it launched several years ago, and they're still adding stuff for members now. Best investment you'll ever make. So check out Thrivecart if you haven't already. We're all in on it. We love it, and uh, hope you will too. Thanks for watching.